Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Bradley. This is their part number 8122-001048. This is what they call a heavy-duty grab bar, satin with safety grip stainless steel. So this is what an 8122-001 is. The rest of the part number is simply the length, okay? This is a 48-inch length. Uh, is what this is. And we're going to dissect that part number so we can understand exactly what they mean uh, by all of these digits in the part number. But visually first, this is just an inch and a half diameter, which is the largest of the three sizes available. One inch, inch and a quarter, and inch and a half. One inch you really don't see in commercial settings. Um, inch and a quarter and inch and a half are common. People will lean towards inch and a quarter very occasionally because it's less expensive. But inch and a half is the standard uh, that you're going to find in commercial applications. Uh, I've heard it said by seniors that they like, or people who use uh, uh, grab bars, that they like the larger diameter because it's less painful. And if you consider how a smaller diameter bar would be less surface area over the entire hand, I can certainly understand why that's the case. This is what would be a snap-on flange, and there are different flanges, and that is for sure buried in the part number itself. Okay, welded on the back side. Safety grip, satin with safety grip stainless steel. This is certainly going to be manufactured of stainless steel completely. Uh, and it's four foot long. It's available in other lengths, naturally. And as you change the 048 in the part number, you're going to change the length. These are all just straight lengths, and they are going to go from... 12 inch, 012, uh, pardon me, 120, 18 inch, 180, 24 inch, 240, you get the picture, 30 inch, 32 inch, 36 inch, 42 inch, and 48 inch. Let's switch to the screen view where we can take a look at the supporting documentation for this grab bar. Okay, so this is the summary of these, this series of bars that we're looking at in the 12 inch, 18 inch, 24, 30, 32, and so on. Let's just click on any of them. So, inch and a half diameter, and what they call the A dimension is just the dimension center to center of the unit itself. So, a tremendous amount of information is here. We're going to tackle it by looking at the product brochure because this is how to understand the Bradley naming convention for their grab bars. And in fact, I really wouldn't attempt to try to figure it out without this because unless you expose yourself to it often, you know, understanding what they're doing is, is not going to be second nature in my opinion. So really the how to specify is not only the way to understand what you're looking at, but it's the way to convey accurately what you want. So we're dealing with a 812 or an 800 series, okay? In the 800 series, we're specifically dealing with an 812. In step one, we're going to select our diameter, and we're going to uh, we're going to determine our mounting type. Okay. So our mounting type, exposed or concealed, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, one inch. So let's tackle these one at a time. Let's look at the mounting type. I may or may not be here. It ought to be. It's not. So let's hop over to technical data sheet. Uh, let's look at mounting. Those are just the anchors. And unfortunately, I'm not able to show you a great example of exposed. This item is clearly concealed, and there are photographs by the time you're watching this video will be listed down below. But exposed would basically be, it would be the, uh, the image, and this is listed down below, but there would not be a snap flange. This would be circular and would appear to be finished relatively. There'd be a weld around this, and then there would be three holes to mount it. So 
you uh, unfortunately have to use your imagination a little bit, but that will be completely circular. The point is, the difference is, is that you're going to see the head of the, of the fasteners with the exposed style. That is by far less common than the snap flange or the concealed flange. Other manufacturers have a third way of installing grab bars that they have a um, tenon plate that mounts to the wall and then you secure your grab bar to that mounted plate. Bradley features only the two ways of doing this. Okay. So, a uh, little bit of a fail on showing you exposed, but moving to the second option, safety grip is the two in our 8122, and that is very much shown here. Now, a standard grab bar will be brushed, but it will not be textured like this. And this absolutely does increase the grab bar's ability to uh, provide additional surface area, making the possibility of slipping less than just the standard brushed finish. So that is what the safety grip finish looks like from Bradley. Okay. Now, we've dealt with this entire part of the part number the 8122. Now we have to deal with this pesky part of this part number here. 001. In that part, the 001 is the configuration. The 001 is the configuration. That's easy. As we scan through, you're going to uh, quickly find... Uh, oh, here it is. Right there. They only show two screws here. Um, it has to be that there are only two screws. I would have bet three on this, but that image, while it's not amazing, shows only two points of fastening. So there you go. The 001, as we scroll through here, so this next page will define these different options that are here, but when we scroll past that, 001, that's just a straight style grab bar. The center to center is then your dimension. Again, between 12 inch and up to 48 inch is what that's going to look like. Okay. Now in this grab bar, there is not a requirement of indicating, because it's just linear, we don't have to throw in two different dimensions, like an A dimension and a B dimension. Our, our 001 has only an A dimension which when we go back to here will be just our size and they drop the last digit remains a zero but then you're going to get into those scenario into those grab bars that go from three dimensions here after the configuration to four your a dimension and your b dimension and that 005 configuration they refer to is indeed what we were referring to because it's available in different sizes okay so once you understand how they do it then there you go what's important to really know is the they're always defining from center to center of the mounting point they're literally telling us do not specify this dimension it's always center to center and that keeps us able to use a single definition especially when we are talking about bars that are L-shaped or some sort of an angle-shaped. Now, another important thing to note is that you will always maintain an inch and a half clearance between the wall and the inside of the bar, regardless of what the diameter of the bar is. That's a, that's a requirement uh, in ADA, which is A117, the ADA Accessibility Guidelines. Um, and that link, since we're talking about it, is here. ADA Standards for Accessible Design. That document is super important when you are dealing with public spaces and how those public spaces are configured to permit accessibility for those who are handicapped. If you're doing a project that involves uh, not only restroom equipment like grab bars and soap dispensers and mirrors, but thresholds, that comes into our realm very often, uh, this document will prove to be invaluable because you don't want to guess what the height of the grab bars would be. You can simply, you know, do a find function on the keyboard for grab bar and sooner or later you're going to get to the section where, well, okay, it's starting to show grab bars. Um, and the point is, is 
when you get to that particular section, you're going to be able to read through it and then find what the requirements are in terms of mounting heights and dimensions. So you'll want to uh, review this very thoroughly. And as you continue to scroll through here, you'll you know find, and while it takes a bit of study, you'll find every aspect of the location of this material defined uh, for us. We don't have to guess; it's it's provided for us. Um, you know, for instance, the there's a reference to the grab bar being compatible with uh, section 609. Grab bars for water closets shall comply with 609. Well, let's scroll to 609. Let's see what that says. 609. Grab bar 609. Okay, so there's some options in terms of shape. Non circular cross section, it'll define that. Spacing. The space between the wall and the grab bar shall be inch and a half. Shall, the term shall means it will be, it's mandatory. Shall is mandatory. Should is optional, but shall. <laughs> Shall means this is this is a mandatory requirement, so that's why it will always be inch and a half. Um, and as you can continue to read through, if you were to continue to read through, you are definitely going to find the reference to the height right here. Grab bars shall be installed in a horizontal position, 33 inches, and again, there's that shall. That means will. That means mandatory, between uh, 33 minimum and 36 maximum above the finished floor, measured to the top of the gripping gripping series, uh, surface, except at water closets for children's use. And then for children's use, you go to 604.9, and 604.9 is neat because it will, if I recall correctly, will give you modified heights when you're dealing with little people. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, sure, little people, but also um, children uh, that you know pe people who are just simply not tall enough and there it is grab bar heights will modify depending on the age of the child anyway so this document is absolutely crucial when it comes to uh, understanding where you're going to put all this material so it's always going to be inch and a half we've talked about the different options now the other f uh, finishes that are available zero is the common it's just a brushed satin finish Certainly, it's anti-slip and it's by its very nature that it is satin brushed finish, but it would uh, certainly not give you the same amount of anti-slip property that a safety grip finish would certainly provide you. Okay. And that is also followed by the bright, uh, bright polished finish. You can indeed order this material in a polished stainless, which is not uncommon. It's not, well, it's not, it's certainly uncommon. It's not unheard of. What's, what's very uncommon is the bright polished finish with the safety grip, but you will see those. I've been in, uh, in, in hotels where I've definitely seen bright polished with a safety grip uh, style finish. Um, now, the other thing after this is, that you need to know is, Anchors are never included automatically with grab bars, period. They, they never are automatically included. There is adequate um, language here that talks about adequate wall reinforcing, which must occur uh, in order to get this material installed. I, I hate to say it, but I've had customers call me and, frankly, want to philosophically discuss how it is that just single sheet drywall isn't adequate to support the load of the grab bar. You know, you, you must have proper reinforcing in the wall, complete stud reinforcing in the wall, if not steel that's been put there specifically meant to be drilled and tapped to receive the grab bar. Without that, there's no sense in having a grab bar because it's not, the load will not be carried. You can't, you can't hang a TV on a wall that's not reinforced on just drywall um, if it articulates, much less a, a, a person who can be a few hundred pounds, in fact. So in terms of the mounting types, and I'm scrolling through here to see if I can find those, but I can't, but I know that I have it here, and I think it comes out of the technical manual is why it's not showing up in the regular catalog. 
mounting types. Uh, these are all available from us, and I would encourage you to purchase. Sorry, just having trouble with Chrome. Chrome is giving you trouble. Just give it a day or two. It'll be back. Okay, let's try this. Just pulling it up in a different browser. So you will want to absolutely consider uh, some sort of mounting type. Metal stud mounting kits. This material needs to go in. This in-wall anchor material, that all needs to go in before the um, before the before the sheetrock is up when the framing is done. Masonry walls, that's not so bad. You can buy those anchors. When you have a panel, uh, not drywall, there are these toggle style bolts. Partitions will have through bolts. When you have properly reinforced areas for grab bars, you can purchase the 899-010. I would absolutely suggest that you order anchors at the time. It's just going to save you the trouble of having to go out and buy material. Plus, it'll be the proper base material as well. These bars are made of stainless, totally made of stainless. You don't want your anchors to be made of something other than that. Although you see it all the time, unfortunately. Now the next item to look at is the technical data sheet. And it's going to give us all of this goodness that's here. So let's take a look at that. There's Chrome. So inch and a half OD heavy duty stainless steel grab bar with concealed mounting. 13 gauge stainless steel flanges. The escutcheons, the scalp plates, they are just 22 gauge. The tubing is 18 gauge, inch and a half OD for this model. Seamless construction with exposed surfaces and architectural satin finish. Bent ends of tubing pass through the flanges and are welded for maximum strength. Intermediate supports are contour cut and joined by welding to form an integral part of the grab bar. So what they're saying there is when you get longer than when you get longer than 48 inch, I think you enter the 002 configuration. Yeah, right here. Um, okay, so over 54 inch. 72 inch is incredibly common. We sell those every week. You get into the longer than 54, like a 60 or a 72 inch, you're going to have that mid support. And they're saying that that's just simply welded is what it is. All exposed welds are ground and polished to blend. Mandrel bending process maintains uniform bar diameter. The bending on the material looks uh, incredibly natural is the bottom line. Return provides inch and a half standard safety clearance between wall and bar. And this is why it has to be reinforced. Um, when properly mounted, all Bradley bars are going to meet that requirement we went over earlier and can support up to 1,000 pounds. When it's properly installed, you're going to want to use their anchors. You're going to want to have it properly reinforced. So be mindful of that. Uh, before you attach stuff, verify that you are reinforced and that you know where you're going to install everything at. Okay, very simple and straightforward. Uh, those features we had talked about earlier, uh, we didn't talk about the antimicrobial. Um, you'll add an AM. Antimicrobial is standard practice when it comes to applications of practically any hardware in a hospital. Um, it is a coating that is done on the material that retards the growth of germs. You know, uh, in, you know uh, any sort of growth in bacteria that is absolutely infectious. Something that we can, you know, a contagion that can be passed person to person. It's not permitted really to grow on the surface when it's antimicrobial coated. Uh, many items in our hardware industry have that. Push and pull hardware, you know, door latches, things of that nature can come antimicrobial coated. And of course, ADA compliant. Okay. Um, lots of information here, and I, I'm going to just say we've covered it, if, if not completely, at least briefly. That link to the manufacturer's page that's here, let's click on that. And again, it's going to show you that or get you that chart that's here. Um, maintenance master index for their products. A, all the Bradley products that we sell are also listed here. A link to the manufacturer's website is here, along with the most current catalog. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Okay, in conclusion, the name Bradley 
in my opinion, um, and I, I believe others share it as well, is a very high quality caliber manufacturer of commercial restroom equipment. I would not hesitate to suggest that you use Bradley equipment. It is equal to or better, in my opinion, um, of everyone else on the market. And I sell other people's commercial restroom equipment. The confluence of what Bradley provides their client base every single department in my opinion is equal to or above what are we talking about quality value customer service technical support shipping lead times bradley is a manufacturer so their weakest area in this amazonification of culture that we live in they make things to order there's a lead time they have a list of quick to ship material but plan ahead their material has a lead time um and while it does have a lead time, I can tell you that their material is always well worth the wait. Customer service, exceptional. Technical support is even better. I had to call them last week on a simple matter of how to remove a mirror from a wall. And there's a tool that they make, a mirror release tool. And if you look at it, it's just a bent piece of metal. That's really all it is. But if you've never removed a mirror from the wall, you really have no idea what am I supposed to do with this bent piece of metal. So I called technical support and got the, I, I know what it's for. You stick it underneath the mirror and you work the tabs loose and you can lift the unit off. But when you research their documentation, because I wanted to forward the information to the client, um, it's not exactly clear in the mirror documentation how to pull it off the wall. Um, so I was able to speak to technical support, first phone call, first person I spoke to, absolutely expert level, uh, 1,000 when it comes to how to do this. And the client was able to understand how to get the mirrors off the wall so that they can just do the construction they were doing, okay? Uh, and they were just exceptional at it. Their quality, in my opinion, is second to none. I've sold commercial restroom equipment from every major manufacturer, every single one of them. They're all good. But then there are shades of better than good, and Bradley leads the pack, in my opinion. Nothing against all the other companies, but they all have their areas of balanced, ex uh, what they excel at more. And in my opinion, Bradley is not strongest at lead time. However, they're pretty prompt, reliable, and predictable with their lead times in the sense of you know what you're dealing with with Bradley. Um, other people will be less expensive, might have a better lead time, maybe the quality is not as good, and the, and the customer service and technical support is approaching non-existent. If you're doing a public project, you need to be able to have access to the manufacturer so that in 10 years you can get technical support on, you know, I've lost the key for our sanitary napkin dispenser, and now I've drilled the lockout, help me. And Bradley's the kind of company that will be able to take that call and say, this is what you do. Um, and you get that pretty quickly. You need to have restroom equipment working because, as I've been told by one particular sales rep, not for Bradley, but for someone else, when your material doesn't work, it gets vandalized. It gets ripped off the walls and thrown in the garbage. So uh, Bradley does a really good job at that, that long-term relationship. Anyway, if you have any questions on the 8122, in an 001 configuration, in, an o, in, a 40, in a 480 length, or any other Bradley product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.